What's good, everybody? Hey, welcome back to week two of Soul Food Sundays. It's myself smoking and grilling with me, AB, and Soul Food Cooking. Hey, listen to that. Put two and two together. Soul Food Cooking and then hashtag Soul Food Sundays. Hey, you do the math. Hey, you guys, if you haven't checked out that channel, you gotta go by and check them out. Hey, listen, they got everything from Soul Food. Hey, you know what? They sit very, very similar to my channel. Hey, listen, you know what? Do yourself a, uh, a favor. Go by if you haven't already been by. Check out their playlist, see what they got to offer. And then, most of all, check out what they bring into this. We just gonna call it, we going around calling this the virtual YouTube potluck. So, you know what I'm bringing to the virtual YouTube potluck. I'm bringing lima beans with smoked ham hocks. You know, it's served over rice. And then we gonna have some corn, uh, cornbread muffins, you know, with some tidbits in it. And listen, that's courtesy of Cultural Creations. I'll leave a link to their channel down in the description box below so you guys can check them out. Hey, listen, so you know I like to say I don't want to over talk it, so I'm not going to go too much further. We finna break right into this. But I'm going to go ahead and just show you some of these ingredients. So right here, look, we got smoked ham hock, garlic powder, black pepper. We got bell pepper. Then we got a white onion, which is roughly chopped. I didn't even break them up because, listen, when you cook them, you know, they're going to all come loose anyway, you know. And then right here, you got the star. These are your lima beans. I'm gonna bring you in close so we can figure out. You ever hear people say you gotta sort them? I'm gonna show you what, we, what you're gonna be looking for and I'm gonna give you two options of what we can do, you know, as far as uh, soaking them. Now, look, I put them on this blue plate, that way so you can see them. So look, we're gonna spread them out and then we're gonna start with one pound, by the way. But if you see this one right here, look, it's cracked. We just set it off the side. This one's cracked. Anything with imperfections, we just take those out. And then I've heard people say that they've even seen them, uh, They've even seen them have rocks. But you know what, I look around, look for anything like that. Then what I'm gonna do is put them in the colander, rinse them, and then uh, I'm gonna put them in the, I'm gonna tell you this, you got two ways you can do this. Now there's two ways you can do it. Listen, for those of you guys that prepare, you can go ahead and put your beans in a bowl, cover them with water, about an inch or two above where the beans stop, put them in the refrigerator and let them soak overnight. Or you can be like me, you know what, and decide last minute, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and make lima beans tonight and we're gonna do what we call a hot soak. Meaning, you're gonna put them in, you're gonna put the water in the pot, you're gonna get it to a boil. Once the water be, you know, starts to boil, remove it from the heat, make sure you turn the uh, heat off, go ahead and add your beans to it, cover your pot, and then let it soak for about 40 to 45 minutes. Pro tip. Now some of you have asked me in the past, why is my crock pot in the sink? The reason I put it in the sink, it just makes it easier for me to get a downward view, you know, downward view. Now, go ahead and get your lima beans, go ahead and add them to your crock pot. After you know you strained all of the water off, then you wanna come back with your green bell peppers and your onions. Listen, I only use one large onion, but you can use two if you really like the onion flavor. I do. You know, at this time I just went ahead and used one, then add your garlic powder, and then your pepper, and then <clears throat> here, this right here. Now this is really up to you. You can put as much ham hock in there. I like a lot of uh, ham hock flavor. That was smoked ham hock, ham hocks. And you know what? I like, you know, it just made it easier for me just to like break that up so that I can have some meat with my, uh, with you know, with my lima beans. And then right here, you just want to go ahead and add six cups. Each one of those boxes are four cups inside. So obviously, you know, just pour one in there. And then the second one, measure out two cups. And that right there equals six. Next, you just want to go ahead and get yourself a spoon. You know, and uh, just kind of like make sure your meat is down. You want to have everything sort of like, uh, you know, submerged, you know, in that chicken stock. Go ahead and add your uh, your lid on the top. And now it's time to set the timer. Now, right here, you'll see that when I set the timer, listen, I wanted to set it for seven hours on low. But right there, you saw that I had pushed high. I corrected this off of the camera when I thought about it. I was like, did I push that? So listen, it's seven hours. Now, listen, your object objective should be to have, you know, your cornbread mu uh, muffins to be nice and hot. So, I'm going to just say about 20, 25 minutes before your crock pot is uh, finished cooking, go ahead and add all your dry ingredients into a bowl. Get yourself a whisk, you know, whisk it all together. After you have all your dry ingredients in there, go ahead and add your oil and then your two eggs. Now, listen, I had a subscriber tell me I should be breaking my eggs and something separate just in case I have a bad one. And I put it in there and it'll just ruin the whole mix. And they are absolutely right. Anyway, go ahead and add that. You know, get that in there and start moving it around. You know, break, you know, starting to you know, get it to mix. And then when it comes to your milk, I learned this from Cultural Creations. They said even though the milk is already measured out, you just want to go ahead and just add a little bit at a time. And then you want to get that consistency right there. 
and then you come with that corn. You know what? I'm going to tell you guys what I really wanted to do with the corn. You see that black uh, cast iron skillet? I wanted to put that corn in there and char it, hit it with a little Creole uh, seasoning, and then put it in there. But I went ahead and followed the recipe, you know, just the way they said to do it. So after a little cleanup, go ahead and get yourself a, I'm using a half inch uh, measuring cup and just fill them. And when I filled them, I, you know, I watched her video and she said, just leave, you know, about a quarter of an inch, you know, from the top. So there you go. Just fill all this, all of these. And this recipe right here makes 12 muffins also. Once you're done filling your, your muffin pan, you want to put them in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Okay, listen, it's been seven hours. Now we're about to see what it looks like. There you go. Ah, oh, yeah. Look at this here. Look. Man, that right there. Oh, man, the smell is incredible. You know, uh, <laughs> hey, truly, I don't want to over talk it. And then look, let's look at some of the meat. You know what I mean? Uh, look, it just breaks loose. You know, like that. Oh, man. I don't know if you guys can hear it in my voice. Hey, but this right here is all, this is what Soul Food Sundays is about. Now listen, if you guys, you can look at, okay, let's look at the texture. You can see, as it cools, it'll get a little thicker, but I want to tell you this, if you would like, you can always take a cup, go ahead and take some of the beans, mash them up, and then add them back if you want it to be thicker. This right here is the right consistency for me. Hey, when I tell you right, I mean right. So let's go ahead and plate. Get some of this meat. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, you guys. Hey, I might be. <laughs> hey, I might sound like a little, you know, like a little hungry little kid. But that there, oh my goodness. Let's set that there. Let's go ahead and do this so you guys can see. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that bowl up. But this is what it's about. Hey, I got these cornbread muffins right here too with these corn tidbits. Mine didn't rise, I did something wrong, but I'm gonna figure it out. But I can tell you this, I ate one of them already, and oh my goodness, hey, it's going down. Hold on. So, tell me what you guys think about that there. Look, super easy to make. Hey, and you wanna talk about a soul food Sunday? This is it right here. Lima beans, smoked ham hocks, we got some corn. Hey, and then check this out. These muffins right here, these are outstanding. These are, this recipe comes from Cultural Creation. Listen, I'm going to put the recipe down in the description box below so you guys can uh, check it out. You know what? Hey, awesome uh, corn muffins and these little corn tidbits inside of it. Hey, that's what sends it over the edge. I'm getting ready to tear into this. This is what I got for Soul Food Sunday. Again, you know what? The only place that got a virtual YouTube potluck. And you know what? You guys ain't got to like type in, hey, I wish you would have ate it because check it out. It's been smelling good. My stomach is like growling and it's about to go down. So with that being said, let's get it. Hey, you know what? I'll come over here and get this one right here. You know, uh, ooh, man. This is why I don't eat on camera. You know what I mean? I get to acting crazy. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I ain't sure. Let me go back and get another bite. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, wee. Man, this meat so tender. Hey, I'm going to keep it real. This is what's up. Hey, don't forget to go by and check out Soul Food Cooking and, you know, see what they bring into the uh, virtual YouTube potluck. I don't even know. I don't want to know. I'm going to be just as surprised as you guys. But what I can tell you is by their video production and what they usually make, hey, it's going to be spot on. Hey, so with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button and tell everybody. It's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes taking the mystery out of cooking. And if you guys have been watching me, you know how I'm about to end this one. Hey, I'm out of here.